Hey, welcome under my truck uh, once again. I, I don't have a problem. I just have uh, something that I want to take care of. So I uh, installed this this new tank. It's a 21 gallon. So that makes it, I don't know, roughly 160, 170 ga uh, pounds. And I have it hanging on here with these straps. And so um, I'm on a, a Facebook group for box trip conversions. And somebody asked how they mounted theirs. And so I told how I mounted mine. And a guy came on and said that um, it was going to fall. Well, I've had one fall before, <laughs> but that was because I just didn't tighten it very well. But um, I kind of, one thing I do in the comments when I get comments is if it's uh, constructive criticism or, you know, just information, I definitely look into it. So um, when I was, when I had this tank full, I had um, the bottom here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me, the bottom kind of bows right here. So I want to be able to hold it up higher, you know, and that'll, and also it slides under that. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I, I have a unistrut and I'm going to cut it probably about, about two feet long on each side and, uh, mount it and, uh, then come down with some, uh, threaded rod and put unistrut under it. And then that way I can tighten it up and, um, and make it secure. So that's what my video is on today. And, uh, it's, it's not a, I mean, it is, a, it's a repair kind of, but, uh, so I'm going to get on with this and we'll see how that goes. Oops. Can't have that. <laughs> Heads up. I guess we had a little more room in here. That might work better, but what the heck? We're going to make it. Okay. All right. So these uh these uh they're self-drilling screws. Let's see if I can get you to see that. They came with my solar panels and they have the little uh, rubber washer on it. So, um, what I had to do since the holes up here are so big, I had to put uh, a washer on it like this so it'll hold it. And uh, <clears throat> need to line that up a little better. But this is just to get it up there right now. And this thing, this has been a godsend. That's a pretty amazing tool, putting in screws and bolts and stuff. Okay, so since these are self-drilling, they tend to uh, have a lot of shavings. So I'm going to go ahead and put my goggles on and put the other ones in. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna put these, uh, at, I guess they're like nuts or something, but they go in the channel. I, I use them in my, um, they're different, but I use the same thing in my uh, solar panels. Okay, so that just spins around. Uh, it's hard to video. I can't find my uh, I can't find my phone adapter for my camera <laughs> or anything. So everything's kind of packed up. But okay, well I got these braces in, or these uh, struts in. So I'll go ahead and put the nuts on the other side. Uh, on this side like I did on the other side and um, I got to tell you since it's going into the frame here I can actually lift myself up and uh, granted it's not my full weight but I bet I could um, I don't think it'll have a problem holding my tank so I think it's good I'm gonna go ahead and um, measure for the uh, I'm gonna go ahead and measure for the threaded rod and it's going to come down about here and i'll have two of these one there and uh one over here and that'll hold that's what's going to hold it up so i'll see you soon okay i do have them in and um man are they tight that's that's really great i love it um i'm going to go back with a wrench and uh wrench them one time to make sure that they're really tight but um so not only do i have this but i have what i originally put up here too so i have that as a backup which i hope i don't need it these are uh man they're really in there this is the way i should have done it from the beginning but i didn't so uh yeah yeah it looks good anyway Just a little bit of an update. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, and hit the bell. And I'll see you next time. Bye.